No one knows for sure what impact global warming will have on the world's animals and plants. Some predict that by the end of the century, as many as half of the world's species could be under threat of extinction if their environment radically changes. Animals with a particularly specialized way of life, like South America's spectacled bear, are just one of hundreds of mountain species at risk as the Andes heat up. Southern Africa is predicted to be one of the worst affected areas. Here and elsewhere, animals will be forced to try and migrate en masse as their habitat is transformed. There will certainly be many casualties. There's no threat of extinction in the Carbon's house. On the contrary, there is plenty of food here. Often, it will have crossed continents by the time it reaches their kitchen. Transporting this food accounts for over a tenth of the Carbon's annual greenhouse emissions. And it doesn't end there. More carbon dioxide is produced by the carbon's rubbish. Buried in a landfill, the rubbish heats up as it decomposes, releasing greenhouse gases into the air. All the while, the carbon dioxide blanket surrounding the Earth is getting thicker, pushing the planet's ecosystems closer to the point of no return. The Amazon rainforest is already suffering the devastating effects of drought. In 2005, rivers ran dry. And scientists like Dan Nepstadt have now discovered that the forest is facing a previously unimaginable threat. For decades and decades, it was thought that these forests don't catch fire. And then some, some researchers started finding charcoal in the soil of forests deep in the, in the Amazon of Venezuela. We had to alert the government that they had a, a major catastrophe on their hand. And the initial response was, no, it can't be these forests. Is won't catch fire. But more and more, as the droughts get more and more severe, we see these forests being pushed over the edge. Nepstadt has already found evidence which points to a devastating future for the greatest forest on Earth. For me, one of the, the scariest visions of the future of the Amazon is, is what we see back here. It's scrub forest that's very nasty to walk through. It keeps catching fire, it's highly flammable, and it's of very little worth to the, the local people. But it's not just local people who will be affected. If all of the forest is destroyed, the carbon stored in the tissues of the trees up to 15 years' worth of global emissions will be released into the atmosphere, increasing the warming even more. We won't just lose the most diverse ecosystem on Earth. We could also lose an irreplaceable mechanism for cooling the planet.
Mr. Carbon dreams of a tropical rainforest holiday, but today he's on a business trip. But when he flies, he's contributing to the fastest growing source of carbon dioxide. Even with plans for more efficient engines, emissions from aeroplanes worldwide are set to double in the next 25 years. Together, the carbons are responsible for a whopping 45 tons of carbon dioxide a year. In cities all over the developed world, millions of ordinary households produce great quantities of carbon dioxide simply by going about their daily lives. So far, it's the Western world which has produced the majority of the greenhouse gases. But that is set to change. <laughs> 